Hello again folks, I thought I could show you a couple of things that I've been doing here this spring. It's not really spring, you know, because um, there are still some risk for some snowfalls. Uh, I predicted a snowfall tomorrow, so um, I have been doing so very much, I just sowed a little bit. And I can show you what I've been up to, and I can uh, show some of my earlier grafts as well. Here are some tomatoes, uh, many of them are heirlooms, and some are from my, from my crossings. Um, you see I got some tomatoes, it's some beefs that are called Oliva Alma, Purple Alma, Yellow Alma, and so on. And that's one of my crosses, it's an uh, F4 var variety. But also, in the corner there I got Tuxhorns, red and yellow. I'm trying that one for the first time this year. I'm looking forward to see what it looks like, how it grows, and how, most of all, it tastes. Um, I also got Cherokee purple here, and Mennonite. I got um, white currant. And uh, do I have some other stuff here? Yes. There are some here. Rose quads. Um, purple Ukraina or purple Russia. I don't know what it's called because I sell them with both, both uh, names. Yeah, these ones here are chamomile, the tonic, uh, but this other stuff hasn't come up yet. I think that one's called baby's breath in English. Pelagonium, and here are different kinds of petunias. Flux. Uh, oh, I forgot that name. But they're very nice in salads. I'm going to let it grow a little bit more and then put them in single pots. Here are some dry beans. Soldier dry bean. These seeds here are five years old. And they sprouted 100%. That's cool. Yeah, I need some onions here, and of course petunias, filled ones, with fragrance in, uh, grapes, uh, salads, petunias, bisilici, cilantro, and um, thyme. Tomatoes, uh, Mizuna, I call it, I think. And lettuce, these are some red ones, they haven't turned uh, red yet, but I think that will do for a while. Rosemary, chives, cilantro again. Oh, I love that one. Oh, tasted it for the first time last year and I loved it. And these here are some uh, ornamental lilies. I don't know the English name for them. Here I know what I call tiger lily. Now there are different kinds of thyme. Here are some grafted apple trees. I don't know how they are going to do. Though, but I, uh, I just had to wait. But the grape tree here. The grape wine. Is doing great. It has been flowering for quite a while now. Oh, I forgot to shake it today. Just for the pollination.
Yeah. I got the fan here this year. I think that was a good idea. Because I thought I could show some of my older grafts and uh, how they've been doing around here. Okay, I can show you this first. These here are my different kind of onions. Here is uh, garlic. This is a Spanish type. This here is called Quebec. The hard necks, all of them. And underneath here are some, I think they're called Egyptian wandering onions. And these here are red onions. I'm just starting to come here now. And um, I had to dig some drainage here because I got uh, the floor full of water during uh, the last summers. So I made a system in there so the water flows out here instead of splashing on the greenhouse floor. Yeah, it was the graftings. This apple tree here is called Åkre apple. It's an old heirloom apple from Norway. I grafted this for about, I think it's four years ago, and uh, my cats nearly killed this one because they uh, sharpened the claws on it, so I had to put some netting here, but it's coming quite good. I grafted it up here. Yeah, very good apples. And here, this is wild cherry that I have grafted some California big cherries on. This is two years ago, but I secured it uh, so it doesn't break the first years here because we got some heavy winds here sometimes. But it's growing very nice. And here is a broken off uh, Victoria plum. This I uh, grafted for about three years ago, I think. Uh, here is the graft. Now this one got so overloaded with uh, plums last year that it broke in a storm here. So I had to cut it off there because it was all you know, split it up here. But it's gonna grow again. And here are some of this year graftings. I don't know if they're coming, it's plum. And this here is um, an apple as well. It's the same as that last one, Åkre Epple. Uh, apples, it's grafted there. This one, I just wanted to have to take uh, sign wood from, but it's gonna flower and push out some apples this year, I think. These are some other graftings that I've been doing a little bit earlier here. This here is an apple tree, it's called Red Torstein. We call it a winter apple. It matures very late. It tastes good. It looks very nice. It's blood red. And these ones I grafted here and here. And they're growing quite well. These are only two years ago I grafted. Not secured it, so it doesn't break. We have some troubles with the roe deers here, and um, they often eat the flower buds. But this year they haven't been so bad. 
This here is a pear tree. I tried to graft the rat last year, but it failed. This one here is a plum tree. It's a kind of wild plum that I just grafted a Victoria plum on. And this one is growing as well. Nearly died last year, but it came back more vigorous than ever. These here, these are just uh, some rootstocks from Sherry, some plums I have here. This here is a wild plum as well, and I grafted Victoria plum into it. It was a bud grafting here. This one here is about three years old. This is uh, another apple tree that I grafted three years ago. You can't, you can't even see the place where I grafted it. It's growing very nice. The snow broke off a big branch on this one, but I grafted in a new branch here. So this is growing as well. This was about two years ago I grafted. So as you see in the field here and the beds, there isn't going on so very much here, but there will be in short time. This here is another red torstein that I grafted two years ago. I secured it up there so the deers can't eat the tops from it. This was a bud grafting here I did. And that one is growing well. This here was a wild kind of apple tree that I grafted into. These here are some bark graftings, and it's done very well. And I secure this as well against heavy snow and uh, wind. But I got some new graftings this year. This is uh, sour cherry. This here is another apple tree I grafted two years ago still small but it's growing quite nice but I had to put some netting around it because the deers nearly ate it all up last year yeah you can't really see the graft down here ah it's here it's a whip and tongue you graft all of it. it's called something like that <laughs> it's growing that's the main thing I'm gonna take that netting off later on this was just a little glance at what's going on here it's, it's not really kicked off yet but uh, as soon as the good temperatures come it's gonna be full speed here so, until next time I see you, have a nice time, bye. And by the way, don't leave this rake here in this way, because stepping on that it can really hurt. <laughs> it's a real bash to the face. <laughs> I've done it. <laughs>